time for the useless news. Useless news. Right here on the Big Dumb Fun Show. Vankman reporting. Good evening, everybody. My name is Vankman. This is the useless news, as always, brought to you by Uncle Rusty's Pure Pork Salsa Ghost Protocol. Try it today. Uh, once again, uh, you know, I was wanting to bring some in to the show so, so that, that you could sample some, Rena, but... I went to the store earlier, couldn't find a damn bottle. They, these things must be flying off the shelf. You had a million bottles on I the know. table. They're totally like, gone now. Like four, and yeah. they didn't even last the show. Ridiculous. So uh, if you can, if you have the means, go to the store okay. and get a bottle of Uncle Rusty's Pure Pork Salsa Ghost Protocol uh, made with real ghost peppers. It's got a kick to it, but um, and, and it... It was hot. It was hot stuff, Gnurk, right? Were I was you, sweating. You were you sweating, was sweating or crying? Yeah, well. Tony Treehole, he's Hispanic. He was sweating. Yeah. I and probably so would be the, sweating. No, you, you drink curry by the, the ounce, let right? Me, let me just tell you, I'm the weaker link of the whole and family because it could be barely spicy and I'm... In my head, sweating. You are such a disgrace to the race. I know. You know what I'm saying? I'm a weenie. Ready, set, pull! About 150 men took part in the annual Alpine Finger Wrestling Championship in the southern German town of Lingries on uh, Sunday. Just yesterday, the unusual competition is essentially a one-finger tug-of-war. Competitors, many of them sporting traditional Bavarian lederhosen, is this sit across like from one another. Version of thumb wrestling, only yes. German. <laughs> locking, locking a single finger. We could do it right now. Usually the middle one. Okay, middle middle finger. Here we go. It, did it start? Yeah, pull my finger. Oh, I don't think your wife is gonna like this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, pull my finger. I think my arthritis you, you missed, just kicked oh, in. Oh, you missed that. You missed that. You, you take your middle finger. Oh. I'm really trying. Ah! <laughs> You're going to make me pee my pants. <laughs> I grab one. Uh, okay. I think I just peed. The referee blows a whistle, and each man attempts to pull his opponent across the table. The winner is whoever manages to drag the other one over at the halfway mark twice. This year's victory was a team from Amergau. Oh, it's always the Amergauans. You awesome boys and Barry. <laughs> Finger pullers must not be strong, and by God, I will not play this game with Gnurk. What do you mean finger pullers must not be strong? Must not only be strong, but they, mu they mu must also have a high pain tolerance. Bloody fingers are all a part of the traditional Bavarian sport. Quote, when you're on stage during the competition, you don't notice if you're in pain or not, said George Brandhofer, a member of the uh, club which hosted the year's competition. Uh, the 17-year-old Brandhofer began training months ahead of Sunday's competition. I guess it's not a <laughs> something you, you start when you're 14 and really work. It's not the Olympics. This could be an Olympic sport. It might be an Olympic sport they based have some on some of the stuff that I've seen. They, we they have some obscure... I mean, if nothing else, they could go with thumb wrestling. We should start the BDFS pinky pollen competition. That sounds really gay. The pinky pollen palooza? <laughs> I'm for it. Here we go. Pinkies! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I lost that one. Okay, I got the strong Again. finger. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> see? That's what, that's what you get. I have no strength in my pinky. According according to legend... Oh, this is good. Everyone, can we get, can we get silence on the music just a little bit? Just According to legend, the Alpine sport was once a way of settling disagreements. It's now a regulated sporting event in Bavaria. A booyah! In parts of Austria, with guidelines uh, governing everything to the size of the tables, to the circumference of the leather bands around the competitors' weight classes. It was that or pull down your later hosen. Another strict <laughs> rule, women are not allowed to compete. Well, in our Ooh. BDFS pinky pulling they would competition. Be, they'd be encouraged to compete. And the gays. In bikinis. <laughs> Gays in bikinis. Love it. It just does not fit, said <laughs> Thomas Kell. Uh, he explained the rule. Women are not allowed to compete in the finger-pulling contest. Why? Because they don't want to... Oh, because, because the guys a lesser don't want to get... <laughs> Nobody oh. wants to lose to a chick in a finger-pulling finger contest, you know? Because oh, they, they suggest things like, use the pinkies! <laughs> or they could grow their their fingernails out really long and kind of like while they're with your you're pulling with Try the middle finger they're like ah ha ha stabbing you with their pinky I you don't, don't know. have to pull you don't have to grow a, a pinky nail out you just get a fake one 
or uh, ding, ding. and make it really sharp. What was it that uh, your brother has? What we were, we were talking? Oh, crack nail. Yeah, you oh. just have the crack nail. My brother doesn't have a crack Release nail. Release the crack nail. Where did you get that from? I'm just saying. I talked to him. I met him uh, at your party. He was in the bathroom. Just a little bump. He said to get him through the night. I he just don't said just a little do bump. Do not start that with me. I will kick your ass at. <clears throat> In lighter news, a family of <laughs> bears drunk more than 100 cans of beer after breaking into a holiday cabin in Norway. At the Holiday Inn. At the Holiday Inn. <laughs> Somebody's been drinking my beer. From Coco Keys. <laughs> this beer is too light. Mm. This beer is too dark. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this beer is just right. <laughs> oh, here's, here's exclusive audio. Oh, Mm, beer. Here's the here's the sound for the black bear. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> That's racist. How about the white bear? Racist all around. How about the Indian bear? <laughs> I would like some beer, please. All right. Now the Indian beer is the one that sold it to the other guys. <laughs> uh, a family to discover uh, nearly uh, dozens of empty beer cans in the place was trash. They had a hell of a party in there. Told the uh, Finnegan Martin. Uh, the entire cabin was destroyed. The beds in the kitchen, appliances, stove, oven, cardboard, uh, shelves, they're all smashed I'm to pieces. Bear. This is my friend, Thumper. <laughs> They've had, they were bitten into cans. They drunk the beer. It's almost like they, they took out of the Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I didn't remember that part of the story, though. Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Not with the beer. Uh, the bears had to go into a cabin through a window before drinking all the family's beer. Yeah, eating that was food. actually Goldilocks and the Three Beers. Wasn't it, wasn't it pudding or something? Porridge. Uh, porridge. porridge. Porridge and beds and all that good stuff. Uh, Nilsson said he was now concerned that the, the Only bear family... You can prevent forest fires. The bear family might return to the scene of the party. The mother has taken uh, her young there. Thus, there's no guarantee that it won't happen to other cabins or to our hut again. What I want to know is that what family in Norway has a hundred plus cans of beer or stored away? Is that a normal thing? Or where's Yogi Bear? Where is... Yeah. <laughs> hey, boo-boo. Look what I found in this picnic basket! More sukiyaki! Must have more picnic basket! Quick, quick, quick! <laughs> I was getting there. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> Don't fight over little me, boy! A crowd of brave exhibitionists plunged into an Oxfordshire lake naked to uh, break a world record for the world's largest skinny dip. The swimmers who had not met each other before were taken to one of the lakes in the surrounding uh, the Wilderness Festival at Cornbury Park. The Naked Swim was also staged to celebrate the launch of a new secret swimming club that will bring together people every month and invite them to swim in the wildest, most beautiful places naked. First Where? rule of Naked Swimming Club, there is no Naked Swimming Where Club. Where was this? Where did this take place? Oxfordshire. Okay, uh, this is over in uh, England. Good eye. And police didn't show up and give them any kind of... Arrest warrant. What do you call that? Indecent I exposure? I, I think they were really wanting to receive the long arm of the law. And they didn't get like this sexual offender. The locations were kept secret until the last moment and only released to the secret swimming community. The idea oh. of the it was a brainchild of secret cinema creators, a group responsible for theatrical hidden screenings. Ooh. And they're above 18, right? Have you been skinny to them before? Nope. Whatever. I have. My name is Vankman, and I'm not surprised. That and is the useless news on the Big Dumb Fun Show. Submit your own stuff to the useless <laughs> news at BigDumbFunShow.com. None of your business. Wow, yeah.